Hoki Mai Anno, welcome back. Police have searched the Auckland properties of three suspected users of an international cyber crime operation. 37 people across Europe and Australia have been arrested in connection to LabHost, an online platform that provided criminals with the tools to carry out phishing scams. Zane Small has the latest. A dawn raid in South London as police move in on the ringleader of an international scam operation. You have been identified as uh, involved in Lab Host, an online phishing platform. Europol coordinated 70 simultaneous search warrants across 19 countries. Five arrests were announced by the Australian Federal Police. The AFP alleges the platform, known as LabHost, was being used by cyber criminals to steal personal credentials from thousands of victims around the world, including more than 94,000 people in Australia. Here's how it worked. Cyber criminals would sign up to LabHost for a few hundred dollars per month in exchange for access to a platform that could replicate legitimate websites and send texts and emails to victims, prompting them to log in to their accounts via the fraudulent link. Globally, 480,000 card numbers have been copied, along with 64,000 PIN numbers and a million passwords. At the time of the takedown, LabHost allegedly had more than 40,000 phishing websites. That's fake websites and more than 10,000 global active cybercrime users. More than 70 properties were searched as part of the international crackdown, including here in Auckland. Under Operation Camperdown, New Zealand police identified three suspected users of LabHost and seized a number of documents, computers and other digital devices. Police aren't ruling out arrests here. Phishing is a significant problem in New Zealand. Currently, CertNZ has processed around 20,000 phishing indicators in the last six months, and we know that's only the tip of the iceberg. New Zealanders are being urged not to underestimate the sophistication of phishing operations. Just stopping and thinking before you click on links and verifying with banks and telcos before you enter your personal information on forms. But at least people can rest assured the LabHost website has been seized, along with the suspected scammers behind it. Zane Small, News Hub.